Good evening, dear friends. It's good to speak to you once again. We have now an autumnal feel in the air and the leaves are beginning to fall from the trees. We also have had the visit of the king to Dunfermline, uh, to the city, and giving it its city status. What excitement. He also was visited the tomb of another king, King Robert the Bruce. I am reminded of the depression that came on Robert the Bruce as in his early days, there was not much going well for him. He was being chased and hunted by his enemies. One day he found himself in a cave, hiding there, sad and depressed, contemplating giving up the fight. And as he sat, he observed a spider he was crying to create a web. And time and again, it failed in accomplishing its objective. Time and again, it failed until at last, it achieved what it was wanting to do. And Bruce was exceedingly glad for the spider. And for himself, he said, I will be like the spider. We know the outcome. What was at the Battle of Bannockburn, he was successful. And as you read this article, you also may be going through difficult times. The future is not bright. And you find, wonder where you can turn for help in these days. Well, there is one where you can go to whom you can go. And you can turn to him and to come to him. That one is Jesus, the Son of God. The Bible tells us that God sent his Son for us because he cares for us. And dear friend, the Lord Jesus cares for you. He also says in the Bible, the book that he loves, that we love. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Lord Jesus also wishes us to come now and reason together. I think of that. The Lord Jesus, the God of heaven, is asking us to come and reason together with him. And in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, he says, he says this to us, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are longing for someone or something to satisfy you, here the message is for you in the Bible. He says also in the Bible for us, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come and to the waters, and he that is thirsty, come and buy and eat. We may spend all the money that we have trying to satisfy us in life. And the words of the old hymn would tell us this, that none but Christ can satisfy, none other name for me. There's love and life and lasting joy, Lord Jesus found in thee. Well, dear friends, whoever you are and whoever you may be, you can turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will find the words 
of another him true for you. Now none but Christ can satisfy, none other name for me. There's love and life and lasting joy. Lord Jesus found in me. Dear friends, we can tell you from life's experience from herself that there is only satisfaction in trusting Jesus Christ. He will cleanse us from our sins. He will give us his life, new life, eternal life. And we can know the future is safe and secure in him. Why not turn to the Bible, read it. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your life and he will save you and he can do that now. That's a short message for us today, friend. Every blessing. May the Lord bless you and your family. Amen.